Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking all about concealer. So I did a video a couple weeks ago talking all about powders. You guys love that. So today we're going to be talking about concealers. My main reason for wanting to do this is just simply because one, I'm in the process of decluttering. So I have some things I need to throw out, but before I throw them out, I felt like, you know what, let's go ahead and talk about everything. So I have here my own personal collection, my concealers, and then I have my client kit concealers, and we're gonna go through all of that. So first let's talk about what is concealer for? Concealer can be for a number of things. I think the number one thing that we all love to use concealer for is simply for the under eye area. To get rid of any dark circles, any discoloration up under the eyes, that is what concealer is well known for. Also, something else that I do, I'm a huge fan of spot concealing. So I will take concealer and it can also be used to spot conceal. And then the most popular probably is highlighting. A lot of people love using like a lighter concealer that's maybe one to two shades lighter for underneath to highlight because it does look really pretty. I feel like in photos, it looks great on film, but for personal, like in real life, I personally don't think it looks that great. So first I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna talk about the concealers that I have here. The first one, I feel like this is more of like a old school type concealer. These are the pop concealers. So what I here have here is the NARS Soft Matte Complete in the shade Amande. As you can see, mine has been used and it is actually time for me to throw this away because the expiration on it is 24 months and um, we're right at that. So I like these types of concealers for spot concealing. So if you are someone who does have any kind of maybe hyperpigmentation, discoloration, acne scarring, and you want something that's going to look like skin, this is perfect because it's not anything that's super, super hydrating, but it's not gonna look super dry when you put it on your skin. And because it is a soft matte consistency and formula, it's not going to slide around on you, it's gonna stay in place. So if you are someone who is spot concealing because you have acne scarring, I highly recommend this one or any kind of pot concealer, honestly, because I feel like those are going to look the most skin like some concealers are a little bit more hydrating or have a touch more slip so therefore I wouldn't recommend those but I do have two that I do use for spot conceal and we'll get to those in a second so NARS soft matte great one no NARS soft matte complete concealer is a great one or any um, pot concealers are awesome for spot concealing next up all right, if you like full, oh, hold on, going back to the NARS, me personally, I don't recommend this one just on me up under the eyes, just for some reason, on me it creases. Now please keep in mind that everybody's skin type is different, everybody's body chemistry is different, everyone's eye set is different, so what works for me might not work for you and vice versa, or, it might just so work for you, but I never use this up under my eyes because I felt like personally it did crease a lot on me. Now, if you're someone who likes the full, full, like 100% full Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer, these are so full. They dry down really quickly and they are a matte concealer. I do not recommend this at all if you have dry skin, if you have dry under eyes, if you are maybe a little bit further along in life, if you're one of my mature ladies, I don't recommend this just simply because I feel like this can be aging. This can be aging on anybody if you use too much and honestly, Something that we see a lot, especially on social media, what people don't realize is you don't need to draw right angles and triangles in all of the concealer that you may see. That is unnecessary, especially when you are working with something that is a full coverage. What a lot of people don't realize is when you draw these big triangles, what it can do is it can make your face appear wider, especially if you don't want to widen the face. When you bring that concealer too far out, it's going to widen the area so keep it more so in the inner and me personally I tend to want more coverage in the inner tear area because that's where my darkness tends to lie now again everybody's gonna be different but I always say focus the majority of the concealer in the inner corner and then blend out but when you go in and you really start heavy painting 
it's gonna be difficult to blend. These, less is gonna be more. If you go in with too much of this, you will be blending for the rest of your life, I swear. These are in the shade, I have dark golden and dark warm. Dark warm for me is what I would use over the summertime, so that is what that one looks like. And then dark golden is what I would use right now. These are my concealers over here is dark golden. So you can see this one is definitely much more warmer, which it's dark warm, it's supposed to be. These are my, I need to be beat concealers. You know what I mean? I'm going heavy, I'm going for the full glam, I'm going for the extra. I do highly enjoy these, but just keep in mind, less is gonna be more. And this is an, a concealer that I would recommend to be used for your no foundation routine. You guys know that I do a lot of no foundation routine, so I'll just put concealer on up under my eyes and spot conceal. Don't recommend this because this is so full coverage. Your look is going to look incomplete. So Urban Decay All Nighter, love these. And then for, we'll go ahead and hit up my favorites. You guys see these all the time. I preach these all the time. They're always in favorites and recommendations. Kat Von D Lock It Cream Concealer. I feel like this is the most perfect consistency because this is a concealer that I can use to put up under my eyes and spot conceal. Now from what I've observed, people either hate this or love this. I have two shades here. So my everyday shade is D37, which is right here on the top. And then when I was trying to be extra and I was like, I'm gonna get a lighter shade. I'm gonna start trying to highlight more D35. Well, guess what, fam? I never used D35 and actually I'm going to put D35 in my client kit. It is lighter. Now, does it look horrible on me? No, but I'm just someone personally, this is my preference. I just don't go for the super, super bright under eye area. That's just me. This concealer, guys, I've probably gone through four of these already. In fact, I had to pull out the stopper in this one one because I am scraping the bottle. I need to order a new one. This is my holy grail all around concealer. If I'm traveling, if I want something light, if I need to look beat, if I need to look extra, she's it. She is the it girl. And then my other favorite concealer, this is the concealer that I feel like is the concealer of all concealers because it'll work on all skin types, all skin tones, all ages. I don't care if you're 12, 22, 32, 52, 72, 82. The Becca Aqua Luminous Concealer, which is what I have on right now, she is phenomenal. And the reason being is because the consistency of this. It's not super, super, hydrating, but it's not super, super matte. It's right in the middle. It's easy to work with. You can blend this with no problem. You can use a brush, you can use a sponge, whatever your heart desires. And the way this sits up under the eyes, it's just so, so lightweight. I never have any issues with this getting creasy or getting crampy. I have used these on clients before with no problems and it works so, so great. Highly recommend you try this because it's just, it's my favorite. And then I've only got two more concealers for my personal kit. This is for my personal stuff, excuse me. This is the Dior Skin Forever Undercover. I am in the shade 050. I bought this when I was on Bride Brain. I don't know why I bought this. I think I just wanted to buy something because you know, buying stuff makes us feel good. And this concealer isn't a bad concealer, but it ain't the best either. I don't know why I didn't return it. Again, bride brain. But um, I'll show you what it looks like. This is the shade here. And my thing with this concealer is why I say it's not bad, it's not good. It's not the most, it doesn't blow me away. If you were thinking of purchasing this or maybe had it in your cart, I don't recommend it just simply because I think it's like 30 bucks. I feel like there are so many other concealers that are way better than this. Now, is it awful? No, but I got stuff that I feel works better. So Dior and the consistency for this one is this one does it's like a soft matte as well. Now, if you want it to maybe spot conceal with this one, I truly feel like you could, and it's not super, super full coverage either. So if you want it to build it, you could. However, I do feel like when I was trying to build it, it did seem to get a little crepey on me, but that's just me. And then the last concealer we have here, this is the Infallible Full Wear Concealer. Love the foundation. I'm in the shade, what's the shade for this one? Ah, there it is. 415 Warm Honey. I'm running out of arm space. And this is a concealer that I forget about. Not because it's bad, but I just honestly forget about this. I feel like 
this is probably in my opinion the best drugstore concealer i like this because first of all they totally jacked tart with their whole big wand thing you only need a little bit this blends out very 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 easily so if you're looking for a new drugstore concealer i do have a video where i was using this and the foundation love the foundation like this too in fact i need to make sure that i put this out so that way i can use it more this is a really really good one now we're going to shift gears here and we are going to jump into what i have in my client kit now please keep in mind I am a makeup artist professionally. I have all of these things, not because I'm saying, oh, look at this. Like, this is what I use for work. This is what pays the bills, okay? So you don't need all of these. Honestly, I truly feel like the average consumer, you really only need two concealers. I generally only work with these two, that's it. So you guys have all seen these before. I'm missing one, I don't know where it is. I have a darker one, but these are the matte Pro Conceal and Correct palettes. This one is in medium, this one's in light. I have deep, I don't know where deep is. But these are great if you are a makeup artist just simply because you've got color correction tones, you've got concealer tones, you have a lot to work with here. Now palettes like these, I don't really recommend to just consumers just simply because I don't feel like you're going to get your money's worth. You're not really going to use all of these. Now, unless you're going to really be using this to conceal and highlight, and if you really want it to, because I've done it before, in a pinch, I've had to use these as foundation. But again, that's going to take a little bit of a skill because you got to scoop it out and then I have to mix it a little bit. It, that's a whole nother different situation but these are things that i feel are great for a client kit for me this is what works do you guys need these no i would i would never recommend this to a consumer but this is definitely a tool that i have in my client kit next up here i've got oh i've got another kat von d this one's in the shade cool these are also concealers that I feel like are slept on if you are a fan of Urban Decay, but I don't really recommend the All Nighter. Try the Naked Skin. I remember when these came out, these were all the rage. So I have quite a few shades here. These are definitely way different than the All Nighter because these are way more skin-like. Now they do dry down a touch, but it's not anything that's too, too drying. I need to switch arms. This shade, what shade is this? This is in the shade Deep. This is in the shade Deep. And that is what it looks like and be careful with these two again if you do have someone that has dry under eyes first of all you should be putting on night cream every morning every night no matter what faithfully i don't care how old you are but this one has kind of creased up on me when i have used it on someone that does have a little bit more fine lines make sure you are prepping that under eye area because when the under eye area is prepped i don't have any issues with it but there have been times where i was rushing and i didn't prep and i tried to slide this on someone who had a little bit more dry under eye situation and it didn't work out that great but um these are beautiful they have they're very very light very very light so it's not going to feel heavy or crepey on you and i really really enjoy the pigmentation of these as well i'll do a few more swatches this one is an extra deep which is just beautiful i mean if you wanted to use extra deep as a contour you totally could and let me swatch some lighter shades here because i know i have some lot of beauties here too this is dark golden this is the shade that i would use there is dark golden on the bottom and then let me give you another one this is in the shade medium dark top one right there is medium dark so I mean these are just very very the pigmentation and the tones of these phenomenal love them so much I need to wipe off my arms <laughs> All right, and then next up in my client kit, I got another Kat Von D. I have this random NARS. I don't know where this came from. I don't know. I am debating revisiting the NARS Naturally Creamy Radiant, whatever that concealer is before. I've tried it two times and I didn't like it. Now that I'm kind of like in a different makeup mind, if you will, my taste and things are starting to change, I think I might revisit it. Let me know down below if you think I should revisit it because that was one of those concealers that everyone loved and I just for the life of me could not figure out why. But since my taste has changed, y'all know I love the NARS Natural Radiant Foundation now, we might give it another shot. 
And then I have, oh, we'll talk about this, color correctors. This is my Stila palette that I use for my client kit. Again, if you're not a makeup artist, you don't, you don't need all this, sis, okay? You don't need all of this, but this is very helpful. Um, I see a lot of people color correcting. I remember when the whole color correcting, oh, I just broke it. I remember when the color correcting trend came out and people that didn't need to be color correcting were color correcting. I think the number one thing that I see done wrong with color correcting because yes, there are makeup rules, you can break them, but this is a rule that you shouldn't break. People using too much color corrector. The thing is when you use too much, no matter what shade you're using, it is going to show through. Specifically once we start talking about medium, deep, dark tones, because at that rate we're using more of like a peachy salmon or orange tone and if you put too much of that on your face girl especially orange you're gonna look like a jack-o-lantern not gonna be cute and then I have oh another Becca Aqualuminous this is in the shade deep bronze and then I have some Tarte shape tapes here now Tarte shape tape these aren't anything that I use too often and I'm gonna be one double O on you. If I'm using these, I'm nine times out of 10, I'm using a little bit and I'm using it on a teen for more so like prom because when you're working with teens and stuff, you kind of have to be a little bit more trendy. You gotta va va boom and finesse them and make them feel like, oh my God, I'm so cool and trendy. So if I have to use these, that is what I use them on. Um, I, I don't dislike the Tarte Shape Tape, but I do feel like it is a tush bit heavy. I always go in with a very light hand and if I have to cocktail it with some kind of oil, I will most definitely do so. So um, the Tarte Shape Tape, me personally, it's not anything that I would recommend. However, they were gifted to me so I do have them in my kit and I do use them from time to time. This one, if you wanted to spot conceal with it, you could totally do so because this is matte. It does dry down matte so you won't have to worry about it like um, looking a little bit highlighted. It, no, not highlighted, looking luminous or slipping on your face she don't slip once she's on she's on she's on and then something else that I want to talk about too with spot concealing you really want to make sure that when you are spot concealing you're using a concealer that is basically spot on your skin tone because let's say if you take your highlighting shade which is used to brighten up under the eyes and you try to spot conceal with it you're going to highlight that spot and it's not going to look good so make sure if you're going to spot conceal you are using a concealer that is close to your shade also with highlighting so highlighting i feel like sometimes maybe is a little bit misunderstood so when people do highlight highlighting is going to bring forward this feature so the center of the face so that's why earlier when i was saying like if if you feel like you have a wide face and you're highlighting and you're bringing that all the way out here, it's going to make your face look wider. So keep in mind, lighter is going to protrude forward. It's going to bring it to the surface and you're going to see it more and contouring is to hide and recede. So keep those little tips in mind. And that is all of my concealers. I hope this was helpful. You guys know the deal. If you have any questions, please drop them down below. Keep it simple and I will see you in the next video. Peace.